biologists here we are going to look at the structure of a chloroplast so here is the chloroplast in a diagrammatic form and here are the different components inside so as you can see it's got a double membrane an inner and an outer membrane and within those two with in between those two i have the intermembrane space now inside of the chloroplast it has the liquid inside which is known as the stroma and it also has inside there these folded uh, thylakoid membranes and they form these like pancake stacks called grana for singular or granum for plural it also has ribosomes but they're a size 70 s ribosomes so remember your synoptic knowledge that's the same size as a prokaryotic prokaryotic ribosome so the theory is that uh, mitochondria chloroplast originated from prokaryotes in the endosymbiotic theory if you wanted to have a look at that it also has its own dna uh, its own loop of DNA to make things, uh, to code for the proteins for things like enzymes that take place and have a role within photosynthesis. So those are the components. We also have starch as well. So starch is obviously the storage of glucose, uh, which is made in photosynthesis. So here are a couple of reminders of the different parts of the different roles. Okay, now we need to be aware of um, how it looks on a photo micrograph. So I've put this in just if you want to take a, a print screen of that so you can have a go at labelling your own chloroplast. And also here we have a photo micrograph. Um, so you need to be able to label the different parts in a photo micrograph. So if you want to pause the video and have a go, but here are the different components. So we have the plasma membrane or the set or the surface membrane or, or it's the double membrane actually with the inner and outer membrane. We have the grana, which are the stacks of thylakoid membrane, which appear darker in colour. We have the thylakoid membrane, which is the obviously bits of membrane, but not as dark because it's not stacked up. Um, we also have the starch granule present as well. Here are some different images um, of the chloroplast as well that you might need to be aware of just to familiarize yourself with the different chloroplasts and here again is another question so you want to pause the video and have a go to label a b and c what those different parts called and here are the answers So that's pretty much everything we need to know about the chloroplast. There are two stages of photosynthesis, a light dependent reaction and a light independent reaction. But as you learn more about them, you'll learn whereabouts within the chloroplast they take place. So I'm not going to cover that at this point. So there we have it. There's everything you need to know on the chloroplast.